unfortunately I was not able to do a vlog as much um, in Israel because of the flooding um, like literally a lot of the places in Israel is flooded at the moment due to heavy rain um, so I can't really vlog too much in Israel luckily where we are there's no um, rain but still there's not much to do because we can't get out to different different places where we actually want to go to but on the route to Jerusalem there's no flooding so it's fine we can get there on time and we can get there and show you guys around I'm just about to get onto the train to Jerusalem the trains here are absolutely crazy like we've got upstairs we've got downstairs let me get on before they shut me off there's an upstairs there's a downstairs there's sockets there's bags for rubbish there's like little bits where you can put your little drinks like there's everything that london does not have and more i'll show you around we have sockets here bags for rubbish or if you're feeling sick comfortable seats spacious seats little bits for where you want to put your uh, drinks we're in Jerusalem finally it's so different here weather's so much better um, quite a lot of shops and stuff and to be honest we're lost uh, don't know where to go next but I'm gonna jump on a bus to somewhere that may be interesting I've done my research, but yeah, we're going somewhere. Oh, oh, Central. Oh, we're staying healthy. Yes. We're staying healthy, we're gonna get soup. Soup, let it is. I don't know what the flavour is yet, but whatever it is, we we'll eat it. So, you got the lentil soup, looks pretty nice. Gonna give it a try. Yeah. To the old town, um, it's worth some pretty lost. Um, just walking to see if we can find it, but I think I'm somewhat nearby. I don't know. And here right in front of me is the old city train to the city of David, which I find quite interesting. So in the old town, um, they have this map right here, which is really, really fascinating. It shows you different points here. Um, number 11 and number 12 is where Jesus nailed to the cross and where Jesus died on the cross. Um, I have to, have to, have to get to that point, which I'm not quite sure is where it is at the moment or where we are at the moment, but I need to find that spot. Guys, this is like so surreal. Like, I'm not an emotional person, but I'm feeling extremely emotional right now, actually being here. Like, actually, actually being here. If you see behind me, I'm at the Western Wall right now. I don't know if you can see properly, but it's just mind blowing, honestly. So, these are the traditional um, Jewish hats. I forgot what they're called. Um, I'm not actually going to buy one, but if I were to buy one, I'd get this one right here the white and gold one they are actually quite cheap it's 10 shekel which i think and i believe is about two pounds fifty um yeah i think that's the, that's the price of it but yeah they are quite nice so just like in morocco someone decided to come and be our tour guide on well voluntarily um but we didn't really want him but uh, we kind of have to listen to him uh, of course, in Morocco they expect money for this, but you know we're not giving out any money this time around. So I didn't catch this on camera because I, I wish I catched it on camera. The so-called tour guide that was just you know a normal resident here um, took us to some random location and then said, "Oh, 100 
which in uh, UK pounds, that's 20 pounds. We bought it for like five minutes. Um, so it's like, no, we're not paying you that. And he was like, shut up. And he, he was like, this is not enough. It's one pound. I was like, um, okay. And then he walked away and told us to shut up. Really? Like I've never experienced that in Morocco, much less Jerusalem, like honestly. On the plus side, guys, <laughs> look at this view. Like, I'll flip the camera so you can see it, but I'm so shocked at what I just experienced. Like, this is just crazy. Like, beyond me. It's above me. It is above me. This is inside the markets um, in the old town. Um, I'm not even an emotional person, but you know, sometimes it gets me. 